So I was asked to come out in this little pond here and get some nuisance beaver out. They're kind of wreaking havoc on the bridge. Underneath there is right full of new beaver cuttings. Take a little walk around and see if we get anything in the 330s that we put out a couple days ago. See the caster mounds where they're coming up onto the bank here. A couple caster mounds. And what do we got in here? It's hard to see, but can't tell whether it's a muskrat or a beaver from here. soft fur on that little critter. all reset we'll go stick that back in the water So now I got that out of the trap, looking at it a little bit more, we have actually got a muskrat. Decent sized little muskrat. Nice catch right behind the ears. I'm really surprised we got such a little critter in a 330, but hey, first muskrat I've ever caught in a 330. to skin this muskrat up. First thing we want to do is get the fur good and dry. Fur on these things are so soft. Like really, really soft. But when we turn it inside out, we don't want a ton of moisture on what's going to be the inside. So I'm just going to get that dried off pretty good. Oh, these things are so soft. I want to make a blanket out of them. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start right at the back of the knee and cut to the tail. I'm going to come this side, the back of the knee to the tail. This is one side. Yeah. 
So I'm cut from the legs to the tail. And now I'm going to work a little bit of this up. So we've got both of our slits to the tail. We're going to reach in and go around that leg and open it up. Work your way right around that leg. And then just pull up and it'll come right off. Same with this side. Work around that leg, around the back side. Come right off. Yeah. Now we got him out. I'm gonna sit him right on his butt. Butt. And then take the head and push it right through. Try not to snap the back. And just be careful you don't break the guts open. work our fingers around that and then work it down and pull and it'll come right off to this side on that leg and pull now it'll pull right off now we're gonna get down to the head I'm going to have to work around the ears now. Here. Cut through the other ear. You can see the little ear canal right there. That's the ear we want to cut around. Okay. Eyeballs. The nose. Oh. We're up under the chin now, now we can just cut that right off. If we were saving this for a full mount, we'd have to get a lot more specific than that, but... And that's our head and our body. Is it? Is the body cavity all opened up? Got one cleaned muskrat. 
lot of nice meat on that thing. Really thick legs, nice inner loins. Outer loins aren't terribly big, but they're not bad. So that little guy's all processed up. We're gonna soak it in some salt water overnight, and then we'll cook it up for supper tomorrow. So well, this will just help get the blood and everything out and tenderize that just a bit. But just some cold water and we'll cover that, put it in the refrigerator and let it sit till tomorrow. And if anybody saw the video the other night on the muskrat, Bacon and muskrat go really good together. I don't get much better than that.